All right, everyone, uh, welcome. I'm here with Sarah today, and I just want to thank you first for being here, Sarah, and joining me and just really giving us, we're in real time in the middle of your experience of getting 15 manager and agent meetings and then trying to make a decision. So I yeah. want everyone to just hear that right now. Is, uh, this is, a in this is it, while it's happening, like not an instant replay, she, Harris Sarah's in the middle of it. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, this is real life. <laughs> yes. um, and uh, today we've got kind of two things we're gonna cover today in our conversation. One is how did Sarah, how did Sarah make this happen for herself? And then uh, help, I wanna coach Sarah on making a decision and helping her make a decision because we all know that like, you know, it's kind of like a marriage, but not quite, but you're hoping it's going to be as long-term as a marriage can be. And mm -hmm. so there's a lot that goes into that. And I believe that the manager or agent relationship with an actor is one of the most upside down, bizarre relationships in the world because they choose you, but then they work for you. It's the most weird, right? So I really want to get to helping you today, Sarah. But so as we go in, before we go there, sh share with us how, how it happened. How did you get 15 meetings? Tell us about it. <laughs> You know, and it is really actually shocking because, so I've been in this business for a long time. I've been a working actor for 16 years. This is not my first rodeo trying to find representation or a manager, you know, or anything like that. And what I think is really interesting is that, so you asked me how I did it. I've tried it before, right? I've tried it the other ways. I've, I've gone online and I've looked up people and I've sent them my stuff and I've just been very like business about it. Like, here are my things. Let me know if you're interested, you know, and all these things. But what happened this time was, you know, I there was this clarity that I got within myself. Thank you, Brian. Um, you know, and it's like, once I got this clarity, okay, who am I? What is, what are the kind of things that I've done so far? Where, where do I see myself going in my life? And when I got really in touch with that and then made myself a human, <laughs> you know, <laughs> instead of just saying like, here's all my materials, like check it out, let people in, you know, there was this intimacy that happened that I feel like is, is interesting to people, you know? And I think that you are so brilliant at that and really like diving into a place. I mean, like I told people about my father dying, you know, and about being the mother. And these are weird things to sort of drop out there when you're looking for a manager. But I think you're right. When you're looking for a manager, you're looking for that person who cares, or at least I do, you know, who, who cares that those are life events that happen, happen because they shape who I am as a person and also as an actor, you know? So I think what I did was I... Well, I put a lot of ego aside. <laughs> yeah. Talk about that a little bit. That was a big, a, a big thing, you know, cause I remember when, well, you gave me this very gentle, loving <laughs> nudge <laughs> to do this program. <laughs> um, you know, I, I was, I, w I had some walls up, you know, and which is strange for me because I'm a very open book. I'm a very open person. Um, that's like the land that I live in. But I had some walls up in terms of like, well, why do I have to do this? Because uh, I've already done that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, I've and been so, can I, I want to underline this there because what I'm hearing you say is like, I've been in the business for 16 years. I have some credits. Like I've been around. I've been some good, some great reps in the past. Like, why am I going to do this program other actors are doing? Or like yes. uh, this, work, this worked for someone else. Other actors, it's definitely not, I'm fancier than them. Like yes. I'm saying this and like you came, overcame this, which is why I'm saying no, this in the most fully. gentle, right. Yes. Yeah. And you know what? I take responsibility. Like I'm someone who takes responsibility in their life. So I'm going to say right now, I was being a little bit of a bratty ego <laughs> brat, right? Like I was, um, because I think it's important to take responsibility for what you're owning. And that's also what you learn so much <laughs> in agent goals, you know, because those things actually become obstacles that get in your way. So yeah, I was looking at this as like, I remember when you were when you were saying, well, we're going to self tape. And I was like, no, I'm not. I have a real, <laughs> like, I don't do that. You know what I mean? But it's like, why wouldn't I do those things? You know? And when you start to really do the work, when you start to really dive in and, and you go inside and you start to learn about why, why are you doing this? What, what are the things that led you to this place in your life? You know, why, why does it make your heart sing when you're able to use your talents and your gifts in a, in a purposeful way in order to make an impact in this world? You know, when you start to really go in and you're reminded, oh yeah, like it's almost like this. And I love the word that you use, the beginners, look at it as a beginner's mind because that's exactly what it is. It's like, it's like the mindset that I had when I first started, you know, when I was in my 20s and I, and all the things were possible and everyone is going to say yes, because that's the way it works, you know? And then, <laughs> and then I think over time you put these things up, you know, 
no matter where you're at, even maybe even if you're at the beginning and you're looking at it as like, oh, I, there's no way I can get get something like that. It's you put these things in the way of the truth, right? And the truth is, is that what we are seeking is seeking us. And like all of us, there's for, and also there's abundance for all of us. You know, my success in the program doesn't limit someone else's. Huge, and someone, huge, huge. Sarah, let's underline that. Cause I think there's yes. so like, and you know how this comes up really sneaky because a lot of people <laughs> who rely on referrals will be like, I can't refer you to my agent because if I refer you to my agent, then you might get more auditions or you look a little bit like me or all that baggage comes up, which is why referrals are not part of the program. But yes. then also, but also the, you know how this happens where like, you won't want to let another actor in on the secret you uncover, yes. right? Yes. And that is just a belief in scarcity, what you just described. Yes. And so yes. you can't be a, you cannot be subject to two mindsets. You can't say, I believe in abundance and and I'm also going to hide with the resources I find. No, you can't you, live. You yeah. can't live in both. You either yeah. open up and you fully open up, or you live in the other, or you live yeah. in the lack and limitation. It's like, you know, and and I love. I mean, I'm I'm very much. You know, you and I speak the same language when it comes to the universe and all that stuff. And I, you know, whether or not you're spiritual or any of those things energy is quantifiable, right? Like we know that certain things, when you energetically put them out, there is a process that process that happens where they come back to you. Mm -hmm. So you think about that, like, and I would look at my life. This is the funniest thing is I would look at my life and I would go, how have I met the love of my life? How am I living in a home that I literally wrote a list for? <laughs> And end up, you know, living in it. Um, although it looks like I'm in like a strange white box right now. So <laughs> I'm in my dream house. That's part of the dream house. It's having That's the white the box. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know, but it's like, how, how am I, how am I, all these areas in my life, how am I succeeding? And then I look at this part of my life and I'm like, that's not quite there. There's, you know, it's, and it's baby steps along the way. And there's definitely been signs. And you talk about signs. What are the signs the universe has given you that you're on the right path? There definitely been signs for me. And if you're watching this or listening to this, please look, look out for your signs. Your purpose is clearer than you think. Um, we make nice. it too difficult, right? Yeah, we make it difficult. We get in our own damn way is what I was saying. We get in our way. And it's like, I was giving away the power to so many other people. And I think a sense of my own worthiness and a sense of what I was like, what, 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 what was I worthy of? Right? Like it was missing. Mm. And I didn't realize that until I started to do the things that you were saying and still until I started going through the work until I started to also look back on what I had done and really focused on where it was I wanted to go and realized, oh, wait a second. I know why none of this is happening. It's because I haven't felt like I deserve it. It's mm. because I haven't felt like that. So that was such a huge block, you know? And it's like, I just want to like scream to people. <laughs> um, look, and it's also weird too, right? It's like this weird thing. Cause it's like, oh, are they selling us on pitching us on this thing? But I also want to be really clear that when you start to when you start to invest in yourself and you start to put things in yourself, it makes a difference. And I, I do want to speak to the fact that look, Brian and our, our Brian, and you and I are friends. Yeah, we right? know each other. Yeah, yeah. But what's so great about the fact that we're friends is that it's not like I got the program for free. No. And I kind of <laughs> love that because you believe in what you do so much mm -hmm. and it shows. And like there, there's no like shortcuts. Right. No, and what Sarah, you know, I have to tell you, and this is so I'm so glad you brought that up because I actually wrestled with myself in that moment. Yeah. And there's a huge value that I have around it. I talked to my boyfriend about it, the whole thing because there's something different that happens, like you said about energy, when you give something away for free, where mm -hmm. the investment on the other end just doesn't happen in that yeah. way, and mm -hmm. it, or, or whatever, or even discounted, which I didn't do either, right? So, yeah. and to me, and so you saying like, I had to chop, that was the first chop at the ego in some ways. And so like, I have to say yes to this, right? And yeah. I love that you said that your ego was the block in some ways. Oh, it was the thing that was- block. I mean, it's such a big block because it's like, and I even remember in the beginning, you reminded me again, like, and you, and you would say on your calls, like, just remember beginner's mind, beginner's mind, because look, everybody who was going through the program and it was kind of strange, right? For me, because, so if you're in this, if, if you get a chance to start from the beginning, start from the beginning with a group yes. of people, sure. thank goodness, shout out to Victoria, because she was, she had started when I did sort of after yeah. everybody had gone through it and was sort of at their, I mean, but everybody moves at different paces. So it's a weird thing, but you know. I, I'm, I'm so grateful to have had her because her and I buddied up and kind of yeah. went through the steps together, you know, cause we weren't in real time. Right. 
but um, I don't know where I was going. Well, no, that. but what I love what you're saying about that though, is one of the things that someone, uh, so a few people have mentioned so far is that the community that's inside of the group is yeah. so ready to jump on board with your journey. And that's yeah. when I say that again, this is not a, tell me where to get headshots. Where do you get, this is not that kind of a group. This is a like no. we're in this together. They're so ready to get up. They know the challenges you're facing. They know where you're succeeding really well. And so because you're all doing the same thing in around the same pace or at a good pace that you can be there for each other in this way. And I'll say, you know, there are some people who started earlier than you did in the process era and they're yeah. not finished yet, which is yeah. totally fine. I also believe that like, just because Brian Pataka decided to start the class on <laughs> April 4th or whatever, and it ends on May, whatever that, when I did it in the spring, right? That uh, that's the time your personal growth should be done through this. No, I really believe that if you're not done with it, it's because there's a reason there's something still being worked out, you know? Yes, and can I uh, also speak to the timing of it? Yeah. Because, okay, so here, and I remember, um, I remember sort of thinking to myself, why didn't I just do it in the beginning, right? Like, cause I, I went to that original thing yeah. that you had offered and I was like, why didn't I just do it in the beginning? Why did <laughs> I wait? But here's the thing. I did it in the perfect time for me. Mm -hmm. And I want everyone to hear that. Whether you are somebody who's in it right now and you're like, oh my God, I'm so behind. Da, da, da. No, put all those voices out. There is no timeline. Your mm -hmm. timeline is your timeline. And you and and it's so beautiful because it also just like releases this idea of like where you should be and when you should be there and all of these things. And Oh, it's so freeing, you know? Oh, and, I love you say that. I yes, you say it's like- no, wait, I want to be really clear with everyone just because of what Sarah says now. You can't enroll in agent goals at any time. It's just not, it's not yeah. a rolling. Like, I just want to make sure that that doesn't, we're going to get a miscommunication here with anybody. You can't reach out to me in December and say, hey, Brian, I heard that Sarah said, hey, I could do agent goals. No, we enroll, the enrollment's only going to happen during make agents want you. So I want to make sure that that's clear. But what Sarah's saying that's so important is I, I believe that no one is behind in this process. I believe yes. that you're exactly where you need to be. Now that doesn't mean we don't need a little cajoling or accountability. That's why we have calls all the time. Like, Hey, yeah, let's get you, get that thing done. I think that's why the community can be really helpful there. Yeah. Um, I think oh, you community. Sorry. I was just going to say, yes. I think for me, especially like, cause I'm someone who can dilly dally a little bit, you know, I can uh -huh. kind of be like, all right, I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, but I'm also doing this other thing that seems yes. very important. Um, but I, I will say having that community, um, it felt like, yeah, you were being accountable and, you know, and even on the follow-up calls where it's like, oh yeah, like I better have some movement because, you know, I, there's, there's a, there's a, a thing. And maybe that also does have to do with ego, you know, that you just kind of, you want to show that like you're serious and you're yeah. accountable and you're moving forward, you know, and also like, isn't that what we want to be in life, right? Like we want to, we want to have forward motion, you know, it's yeah. like, life is so short, these days are so <laughs> small, you know, and it's like, it passes by in the blink of an eye, you know, I've learned that by watching my daughter, I learned that by watching my dad leave the world, you know, mm -hmm. my daughter come into the world and everything's like, Phew. and so it's like, yeah, you know, that accountability keeps you on that track of like forward motion. And one of the best things I think you did, and I, I, I heard a little snippet of Sharon talking about it and how she thought it was so cheesy at first, but then really love it is that is, is the mission statement. The pledge. And the pledge, yeah. And I, I, I still to this day, like we'll do something. And even in this process where I'm at right now, right? Where I'm trying to figure this out and oh my God, it's a whirlwind. I mean- <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry you got 15 meetings. Oh, did it work? <laughs> I know, listen, princess problems, right? Princess problems. But um, I, you know, I think about it in my head, just those last words without, uh, without uh, drama or delay, right? Like yeah. take action without drama or delay. Like those, those words kind of really stick with me. And so I think about that sometimes when I started to go off the rails and I'm like, ah! I'm like no, 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 come back. Yes, I love delay, that. You know, Great. So, You've just, you're just a genius and not because okay. I love you as a human, but, um, it's, you've created this thing, you know, that it just works. So you said something about referrals a little yeah. bit ago. Um, and I, and had, I think in the beginning you had one that there was like a hiccup with there. So you were going to maybe use a referral. Wasn't there maybe a moment with that? Yeah. Well, no, I was looking, I was thinking about like getting some casting directors who know okay. me really well to right, sort of right. like push because mm -hmm. there was this one company that I'd reached out to before I did your class and they were being fussy about like, we don't take unsolicited, blah, blah, blah. Um, but what I was thinking about is like, so doing this process, I had at least two, if not three people who I had had friends reach out to in the past and give all my stuff to them and say, this is my friend, Sarah. She's amazing. She's been working, blah, blah, blah. They never responded to me. 
They never responded to anything. Those people responded to my- Shut up, shut up. That makes me so happy. Yes. It's incredible. And one of them, I had a meeting with. Wait, I unplugged myself. Hold on. I just- You got so excited. I got so excited. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, one of them- One of them what? Actually, two, uh, three of them, uh, yeah, three of them replied to me. One of them, I had a meeting. One sort of asked a question and then sort of stopped off. And then another one, gosh, I think another one- uh, like replied with such amazing response about where I was at and was like, let me know if things develop, which I love that answer. I've only gotten that twice. Keep me posted of the developing things. I'm like, you're right. So I'll just throw whoever I pick under the bus. And once I'm really like on my series, I'll, I'll call I'll you. let you know. No, wait, tell me. So wait, tell me a little bit about some of the responses you got. Cause you got some really incredible responses, even from people who maybe weren't even taking meetings. Can you share yes. a little bit about that? Yes, I would love to. Well, first of all, I got, I would say 99% of my responses were all positive. They were overwhelming. um, Like, and it was actually so fun because with the tracker and stuff, you know, it was like, I could see people opening and then right away, get a message. Um, So the no's, the people who were saying no, it wasn't like, nah, you know, there were a couple of those, but I would say 80% of them, 90% of them would, would talk about what I had how I had reached out. What a beautiful, what a beautiful letter. Like you sound like such an amazing person. I looked at your materials. You're so talented. I'm wishing you all the best. I want you to land in a really beautiful place. You know, it was, I'm getting chills now talking about it. Um, because it was like, it was like the people who were saying no, were still saying it in such a beautiful, loving way and wanted the best for me, you know? And it's like the energy that I, attack this yes. thing of like, and I remember right before I hit those send buttons, I was like, I took a moment and I breathe and I remembered whatever I see, whatever I am seeking is seeking me. And I, I loved each and every one of those people. And I know mm-hmm. that's something you talk about yeah. and I love that in my life in general. So it was easy to do, but I saw them right as humans, not as people that I wanted something from, but people that I was trying to give something to. Yeah. What, I, st- I want to underline that. Sorry. We have to say that again. Mm-hmm. Not as something I wanted something from, but something I wanted to give so, not something from, but someone that I wanted to give someone say, cause Some, I'm not, yeah, I'm doing not, bad. <laughs> not, yeah. Not someone that I wanted to get something from, but someone I wanted to give something to. Yes. Right. You know what and, I mean? And what you tapped into there, Sarah, which I think is so important is if we just give them the receipts, here's what I booked, here's what I went to school, here's what I did. Then they're just getting receipts and receipts are transactional and I feel transactional as a manager or agent then. And oh, oh, then I guess, oh, well, she's gonna be a transactional person, then her credits aren't good enough. Yeah. Which is the magic of the thing is that this isn't about leaning into that, which is why it's not about a transactional. It doesn't matter what your credits are or what you're, it, you have to be able to act is my big rule here and have a good head You job. do have to be able to act. I right. mean, I, you know, I wanna preface it with that because, you know, a lot of the responses, it wasn't necessarily about the work I had done. It was about that, that self tape. It was about mm-hmm. the work I was currently doing and that they saw that was relevant, you know? And, and I think that that's important, you know, like in any time, right. But especially now you, you got to know how to self tape, right? right? Like you got to right. know how to present yourself out into the world in a really um, strategic, beautiful, like well done way. Um, but yeah, so then, so then those were like the no's were these <laughs> positive, beautiful, wonderful, like thank you, right. thank you, thank yous. Right. And I mean, one guy, I'm not even kidding. We went back and forth seven times. He still wants to call and talk to me about <laughs> something in my email. His partner felt like I was a conflict with a couple of his, his people. And he was like, I'm so sorry. I couldn't get him on board. I fought with him about you. <laughs> yes. He said that. And, um, and he was like, he was just, he kept going back and forth. He was like, you need somebody who's going to wake up every single day and say, I can't wait to go to work for Sarah Erickson. This is like my life. I mean, these were the emails I was exchanging back and forth with a human who hadn't even said yes yet. Oh, I love it. So it was wait. So, and so what I'm hearing in that is your email and the materials and the way you shared them were so transparent, so current that they could see through them to who you were so that there was something worth fighting for. Yes. Yes. I mean, and also, and, and, and this sort of will take me into the people who have said yes, you know, right. and obviously I've been taking meetings with, but you know, another thing, Brian, is that they, you set it up in a way where like, they want, there is no selling. Like I don't, when the people say yes, there is no like, well, let me like kind of schmooze you and tell you how great I am. No, 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 no. They, when they get in touch, they want, they want you, you know? So it's not like I've had meetings and people are like, oh, well, think about it. Oh no, like every meeting I've had, they're like, let me make it very clear. We want to work with you. Well, that's, 
Wait, okay. and I want to tell you, you're echoing everyone, which I think is so exciting because like, I can't, like, that's what I knew the framework to, but I was like, I'm not sure it would work for everyone, but that they already want you when you get there. Yeah. And to me, that says there's so much of you in that, in that way you present yourself yes. that they're already on board. And it's so much nicer to walk into a meeting where you can just know that it's a yes. And then you okay. get to like be a human being. Thank God. Because thank God. the part that is important to me and Sarah, this is where we're going to get to your yeses and also the questions, right. About you have around this is I want you the person who's taking that meeting to be so yourself that you are the perfect antenna for picking up on if they're the right person for you. Yeah. And if you're being some puffed up, puffed up, inauthentic version of yourself, you're just not there to get the energy, especially now when we're communicating through screens and you're not even going to get to breathe the same air as this person. Right. right. So mm-hmm. you need to really be, feel like you can be yourself. And so that just gives you that huge permission slip, I think, to be yourself in that meeting. So I yeah. really appreciate you saying that. Sarah, yeah. for, and also I'm having a fun time hearing about this. I'm just so <laughs> grateful for you sharing. What does it feel like to share this just to kind of give us like sidebar moment? Oh, it just feels great, right? It just, it's it, it, like, I have chills all over. I'm so excited for the people who haven't done it yet. Um, I'm genuine, like you genu- genuinely are in my thoughts right now because I, I want more people to have this feeling. And um, I just feel so, I feel so happy because I feel like I'm resonating with the truth of who and what I am, which is someone who's absolutely worthy and, and deserving of, um, of representation that is excited and where your paths line up in a really mm. beautiful, perfect way, you know, and, and like I said, it's gotten me so clear. I know my purpose in this world is to affect change on this planet through my work, through acting. Mm. I know that's my purpose, mm. you know, to make an imprint in this world, whether I make you smile or I make you laugh or mm-hmm. I make you cry, you know, or my outreach starts to get so big that I can do other things in the, in the world. I don't know. I'm not limiting the possibilities because I feel like I think the possibilities are greater even than beyond my, my, my own imagination. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but it's like that part of me is finally that's been in the other places in my life. It's opening up in my career. I mean, I had two women who I was meeting with, they were like, you're shining. Like you're <laughs> literally shining. And I was like, I feel like I'm shining. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I told them, and you're right. I'm like sitting in this meeting and I'm just like, I just feel so good. And I, I've even told the people, I was like, I think I, I just really know how worthy I am of this, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's, I, it's, it, everything has come at the perfect time. And, you know, that's another thing I just want to remind people of, cause maybe somebody needs to hear this right now in this moment and this time is like, you are exactly where you're meant to be. And your journey is so beautiful. And the things that have have hurt you, have also grown you. Mm. And, you know, it seems like I'm speaking about some big giant thing, but it's all so connected. And it's like, if you are in this business and this is what you want to do and it makes your heart sing, then that's what the universe wants for you. That it it all, you (laughs) are meant to have the things that you want. This is not like the world, life is not meant to be the struggle where we come and we fight so hard for these things and like, you know, all that stuff and we're, and we hold them tight because we don't want anybody else to have them. No, 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 no. Uh, And I have chills. I know I'm speaking the truth, (laughs) but you know, it's like, we're meant to, we're meant to blossom into this beautiful version of ourselves that was our purpose to begin with. You know, yeah. I love and the Brian, way you're saying you this, wake yeah. that up, you wake that up and, and okay. you have, you really do deserve so much credit because yeah. you are, you are bringing that into, into, into people who need that, you know, Thank into you. people, cause the people who are coming to you, we've, we've lost our way a little bit, you know, <laughs> and I'll, like, ta- I'll take that. I'll take, you know, well, you know, Sarah, the way I see it is, and I'll, I'll just share, cause I really appreciate you saying that. I want to make sure mm-hmm. you hear me say that. I, I, I'll let that in. I'll take that in Good. is, you know, my purpose is to help creative people not get what they want without suffering. I stand behind that and I feel very real in that. And, you know, secretly, this is, you know, a personal growth church that happens to get you an agent at the end of it. Like I say church very <laughs> yeah. lightly, you guys. It could be temple. It could be a sanctuary, exactly. whatever. It's all, the things. it's all the things. Yeah. Um, and, and that through this process, I mean, this is not the normal conversation. I've said this before that people have when they're talking about finding an agent, because I'm talking about bigger than that. I'm talking about yeah. bigger than just finding an agent manager. I'm talking about who you becoming through this process, because what I know happens is, you know, actors, or you are this actor who ends up with a manager or agent who isn't going to be your lifetime agent and manager, and you know it, or you're there the whole time and you're questioning the whole time. And that's not what I want. I don't want a program that can do that. And there are programs that do that. I don't want to, pro- I want a program that's like, let's go. We're in this. Let's go. Right. So 
that's what's next for Sarah. Ah, yeah. So do you want to start to tell me a little bit? Want me help you kind of help you make a decision here? I, or you get know closer. What? Yes. We might not get to the decision, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, no, great. I understand. You know, okay. So um, like I said, I've had like 15 meetings and um, a couple more. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I bet there's going to be more, aren't there? There's a couple more. You know, there are a couple more coming. Um, that Did we've... you take every meeting that you yes. got? Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, and another thing I want to add to, um, and this goes back to the ego and the, you know, I'm, I'm really speaking to that part in you that feels like, oh, this and only this. Um, Look, I'm going I'm to talk real. So I'm coming in close, guys. It might not be flattering, but I'm coming in. <laughs> I always thought like, okay, in order to make myself grow, I need to be at this place or this place, the place with the name, right? The place mm-hmm. with the name, with the people, with the things. Like that is what I felt like I needed to feel bigger and to be bigger. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when I didn't put a target list, when I you know, looked at the managers like little stars in the sky. Yep. You're Ryan speaking Patata. my language. Yes. Uh, well, it was your language. <laughs> um, you know, but when I did that, I was like, okay, I'm taking off the labels, right? I'm taking them off. Um, data, not drama. I'm going <laughs> to take them off and I'm going to be open. And so every single meeting I said yes to, no matter if they had, uh, you know, clients that I respected and loved, or if they didn't, mm-hmm. um, every single meeting I went in with an absolute open heart of like, this, is this my, is this my person? Great. You know, is this yeah. my, is this my partner? Also, and this I, is a great dating tip. If you're single, yeah, love them know. before you get there. And Listen, then can we be- do the dating thing at, like later? Because I have some <laughs> things to say to you uh, single people. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I've ta- I've just, I've opened my heart up to every single person being a possibility. Um, Yes. And there was something I was going to say about that. And now, sorry, I interrupted. Oh, I do want to say before we go into the other thing, um, you know, I remember when you were like, you're going to get a little negative feedback. And if you don't get negative feedback, you're not doing it right. And I remember when I, you know, when I hit that send buddy button and things went in, I mean, I had four meetings the first day. Yeah. Same day. Um, same Wait, day. Your last, we didn't you have a meeting at 9 30 at night or 8 30 like night? 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, I think we started at 9 30 and it went till 10 30. <laughs> That's crazy. I love it. It was crazy. I needed like those goggles for my eyes because I was staring at the screen for so long and I'm not used to that. And by yes. the end of the day, I was just like, where am I? Oh. Um, Wait, that's but, just crazy though. Can we just say you end this process, you're ready to send your email, you click send an email and on the day you had four meetings. That's yeah. crazy. Okay. Crazy. Go ahead. And I remember my husband was like, do you need to wait to send? Cause that was the first round. <laughs> like, do you need to wait to send your second round? Oh, and by the by, I only targeted managers. So oh, like, you didn't do agents, just managers. Okay. No. Right. Would no. you have the option to do that inside the program? So that's easy. Of you course. Can do, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Um, but just, so that was only that group of people. Um, so so your numbers crazy. are high. Who are saying is your numbers are high. My numbers are very high. Yes. Yeah. Considering I only did that. Yes. Um, which I'm incredibly grateful for. Right. So what I wanted to say was that you had said, you know, you might get a little bit of negative feedback because you're putting yourself out online. And I remember when everything started flying out, like, what is he talking about? Everybody's so happy. Like, this is amazing. Like, I love all of Hollywood. And Hollywood they love me. Loves me. <laughs> I was like, this is amazing. Like the sky has opened up and possibilities are all around, you know? Yes. I was like on fire until the day. Oh, you got the negative one. The negative one came in. And it's like it sucked out all of the other goodness yeah. from the experience for me for a, for a brief moment it okay. really did and it was it was pretty negative i mean yeah. like there was some pretty like i think he used the 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 term uh it like that my email showed because i had sent it to everyone at the company let me be very clear okay. it wasn't my email it was the way i had done it but i still stand by how i did it yeah because and i defended the way i did it because oh, good. i don't believe that there's no way you can know from just seeing a name that that's mm-hmm. going to be your person. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I still fully, fully believe in the process, but this one person mm-hmm. um, said that i showed a lack of character and desperation Whoa. on my part. So those are like pretty intense yeah. words, right? I was walking around the house and I was like, 
telling my husband, he's like, Sarah, who cares? And I was like, I know, but I know, but you know, and I kind of like went back and forth with him a little bit. And I was like, I think it shows all my character, you know, that I want to be, that this is the person that I'm choosing forever, yeah. you know, whatever. What I'm saying is that that one negative thing, I just want people to know whether it's one or many, like, do not let that shine, like damper the light. Well, yeah. And what, and what you said earlier, I think is what's so important. And cause I, I hope that I prepared you for that is if you don't get a negative one, you've done a bad job. Right. Someone needs to be offended. I mean, offended is a strong word. I mean, I'm don't oh, like, no. he was fully offended. Okay. Don't get oh, but, and let me also say, I also had three offers from that office. <laughs> I mean, that's the part that, so here's the thing. What I think happens is you show your vulnerability to someone who is not capable of showing there sometimes. And so you kind of got his number. Right. Is, which is unfortunate because he doesn't realize he's revealing his cards when he does that. But yeah. I this the you you must get one person's not gonna like what you did. If no if everyone likes what you did, then to me, it wasn't a sharp you didn't cut a sharp enough shape with your message out there. Yeah. 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 I see what you're saying. So, you know, I mean, and look, she's still kind of on the table, although I think because of the energy with the owner the of the okay. company. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not it's weird. Sure. Right, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Although they really tout themselves on being like separate. Super, oh, I, we're all about character and integrity. And I'm like, but your actions were so not. So, that. so data, not drama. You get to collect some data about data, not that drama. office. About that. You learn a little bit. Your actions yeah. say that. You say that. And then I see this. So that's just to collect without a judgment, just to know, right? So, yeah. where are you yeah. in yeah. this process? How can I help you here? Okay. This is, um, this is where I'm at. And this is where I would love your help. Um, so I've met with 15 people. Um, and you know, there were some that were right away. I could tell like, uh, okay, you're not my person. There was, you know, and it wasn't anything bad or anything, you know, it just was like an energetic thing or maybe we didn't align up, but then, I mean, I'm a people person. I like to talk. I think you and other people can garner that by now. Yeah. Um, (laughs) So, you know, a lot of these meetings went really well, right? Yeah, like, yes. A lot of them, I was leaving and it, it felt really good. And like, they felt really good. And I mean, one woman's emailed me like four times, you know, like it's been, it's, it's good. And so I guess- Wait, how does it feel to be wanted? It feels amazing. I'm telling you that worthiness. I feel great. I cannot wait to make this decision great. because I know that that energy will continue on into my auditions. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. I know yes. it's going to continue on into my work. I mean, like your class did not just wake up this, this ability for me to get a new rep. It woke up this, this thing that was dormant inside of me. You know, it reminded me, why am I doing what I'm doing? You know, and with all the things swirling around in this world, there's so much hate right now. There's so much division. There's so many things that we look at that we're like, or at least I do. I look at and think, I don't know how to change this. I don't know how to fix this. You know, I know what I can do as a mother, right? I know how I can teach my daughter to be inclusive and teach her about, you know, equality and teach her about love and compassion and kindness. But, you know, the thing is, is like, that's what you can do as an actor, right? And so when you wake it up in yourself to remind yourself, oh yeah, I am worthy of that person. And all it takes is one. So if you only get one response, which I doubt you'll only get one, but if you do, it just takes that one person because they're going to love you already. That's the part that's so, yeah, that's the part that I always remind is like, people can sometimes get hung up in the numbers of, so when we say number, like, so FYI, right now, if you're out there listening, like, oh, well, Sarah got 15 meetings. So if I didn't get, I didn't get, if I don't get 15 meetings, then I'm not as successful or, oh my God, Sharon got 35. Like, it doesn't matter. In a weird way, you don't want that many. I'm not (laughs) even kidding. I don't even understand. Sharon, you and I, I've already sent her a message. I need to have a powwow with her because I do not understand how emotionally and psychologically she was able to do it. (laughs) Because it is, it is, it is a lot, right? And like, you've got a lot of things swirling around your head and you know, it's like, it's like basically if like a bunch of like robot perfect partners were like lined up, (laughs) you pick and you're like, I don't okay, know. Okay, so wait, let's get into Let's get into yeah. the dirt of this. Let's get into okay, the dirt of this. But okay. I do want to say before we start, no matter who I pick, I will be in a better position than I was before I started. Love that. Love so that. I want to- so, And before you, were, before you started, just because we didn't get a big glimpse into that, can you just yeah. give us a little mm-hmm. window? I have an agent. Like? Okay. You know, I know I sent you messages about the agent. I decided to keep her because okay. of course, like I started this journey and then I got some auditions that were coming up. Of course. Because of course, right? Um, so I kept her and because what I was thinking was like, okay, 
we've been together for a while. We've been together for seven years. Mm -hmm. I, uh, you know, and it's been like this and it hasn't been the relationship that I'm, I was seeking in a manager, but I thought, you know what, I want to meet that person. And I want to, I want that to be a decision we make together because one of my things, and I think it's really important too, you make a list about all the things you're looking for in your partner and your manager, right? I do. I say partner because I usually tell people this when they're trying to find their soulmate. Same thing. (laughs) It's a manager soulmate, but like, or agent, but you make a list of all the things you're looking for in that person, right? Like, what is it that you truly want? And no holds bar. The list can mm-hmm. be as long or short as you want. Mm-hmm. And so what I thought was on my list was co- a collaborative partner. So I felt like, great, what a wonderful opportunity. When I pick the person, the first thing we start to collaborate on is should this relationship continue? Mm-hmm. Can you light a fire <clears throat> under them a little bit? Or is this a relationship we leave and we leave together united and then we move forward Mm -hmm. and make more decisions together. And that was right for me. And for some people, it's going to feel really right to leave and clear that space. Yeah. It just felt like, you know, you're a big person on what are you get? What are the signs you're, you're being given? And the signs I was being given at the time were like auditions were coming in, you know, and a time where auditions really weren't coming in. And so I was like, okay, so that's like a sign that like, this is what I do. And then I reframed it. And I was like, oh, I feel really great about that. And for me, it worked out great because people love my loyalty. They're like, oh, you've been there seven years. That's amazing. That shows a lot about you. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, great. That's where, that's where I was coming from. So, um, and I used to have a manager back in the day, but I haven't had one for quite some time. And I know this is the thing. This is the thing that's going to put me forward. I just know it. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a knowing. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Okay. okay. So met with these 15 people. Yes. How many have you narrowed it down to at this point? Well, this is what's hard. And this is what I would love your help on. Okay. I feel like maybe I want to tell you three. Okay. But then I could also tell you five. Could you really tell me five? Or is that a game you're playing with yourself? <sighs> I don't know. This is okay. okay. This is what will happen with me. So um, wait, I'm going to ask you a question yeah. before you go there. Mm-hmm. Close your eyes for a second. Yeah. This is sometimes a good litmus test. It might not be, we'll learn something. I want you to imagine yourself on a set. You love this job. You're having fun. It's like the fourth day in, you know, the whole crew, everybody knows that you're going to be there for a long time. You're going to be with these people. And suddenly things are getting a little weird on set. Like they're good. It's going to be unsafe a little bit. It's a little uncomfortable. You're feeling like I need to call my rep because they're asking me to do stuff that wasn't in my contract. And I don't want to ruin the great relationships I have with the people on set here because we're doing really, really well. There's, I don't want to ruin that. Who do you feel the most safe calling? Does anyone come up? I knew you were going to ask this because I've have you played my it out? eyes and tried to do these things. They all come up for different do, reasons. Great. Cool. Great. This isn't the answer. Cool. So let's walk through a little bit. Okay. Do you feel like they rank like, so in the, in the, in, did you take them through like the ranks of how to do this inside of agent goals of how I told you how to like look at their scores and kind of figure things out a little mm-hmm. bit loosely. Great. Yeah. Do they kind of feel evenish or do they feel very markedly different? They feel evenish. However, like, so one is like brand new, well, not brand new. He's been a manager and agent, but he's sort of been at other companies and now okay. he's come and sort of started this company. Okay. Let's call, um, can we call him a name? Can we give him a name just for, for you? Yeah, and let's call him, uh, let's call him Tony. Okay, great. So Tony, Tony's got his own business. Now he used to be at other places. He's not right. a kid. He's not a kid. He, right well, he is, he's young, right? How young? Tony's, he's 30. Okay, great. He's great. 30. Um, but I will say like there was, so I was also trying to energetically pinpoint how I felt with people, right? Because mm-hmm. I, I know what you're talking about. I want that thing. And I also was trying to picture who am I going to thank when I win that award? Love it. I right? love like, it. Yes. Who do I want to hug? Who do oh. I want to love? Who do I want to sing mm-hmm. the praises? And also who do I want to um, truly give, right? Like, because mm-hmm. that is part of the relationship. Like you give and you receive, yeah. but who do I want to really give to? Yes. I would say I probably have had the least amount of doubt with him other okay. than this idea of like, he's new and um, or not, I don't want to say new, he's not new, but there's something interesting about him. Like when we were talking, he hit so many points and I was like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. You know? Um, and I liked him. Now let's the next person, let's call her Ruby. Okay. Ruby is very excited. <laughs> okay. Ruby, at first, I, when I was talking to Ruby, everything was going great. 
but then there was like this small voice inside of me and I know what you're going to say. And I know, and I know the answer, but there was a small voice inside of me at that. Let's call it intuition. Yeah. That uh, was like, mm, no, no, I don't know why, but no, but there was like this, it was just a peak. It was like a peak. It's like a little teeny tiny little uh-huh. like, like cricket voice. And then what happened was we talked again because the first was a phone call. The second was a Zoom call. And it's like her excitement just sort of started like washing over all that, you know? And then I also was like, I mean, isn't this what I've always wanted? Someone who was just like literally falling over themselves, you know, Mm -hmm. follow up by three emails the next day. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No joke. You know, joke. So I was a little bit like, okay, there's that. But am I convincing myself because she's convinced me? So just pause on that. Give me some more. Tony and Ruby, keep going. I'm going to write these down. Tony and Ruby. Okay. Um, and then let's go with like Rocco. I mean, okay. who am I right now? I don't, I don't know, know who you like, are right now, but I love it. Italian mafia is for Tony, me. Tony, Ruby, and Rocco. And Rocco. And so Rocco, um, Rocco is experienced, you know? Rocco's been around. Rocco uh, reps two of my friends, which I'm not sure if they might be a little bit. I mean, here's the weird thing. I actually don't see conflicts personally right. because I'm like, we all offer different essences. Yeah, However, yeah. with that being said, like maybe- People do. Other people do. Yeah. Right. Are we a bit of a, you know, thing? I mean, Rocco like started to really grow on me throughout the meeting. Like, you know, there was definitely some very clear paths that he had for me. And, you know, and he was he was excited about getting me working and- um, he was like kind of this surprise that kind of came out. I was like, oh, you know, cause I kind of had really narrowed it down to Tony and Ruby. And so okay. then I was like, hmm. And so then I'm going to tell you that. And then I'm going to say, you know, with four five and six. Yeah. It's like. Six. I thought we only had five. Now we have I six. Know, Keep going. I Who's know. after Rocco? Give me them. Well, let me really, let, let me really think. Hold on. So I'm just going to clarify for us, for us all listening, because this is a decision you're going to have to make everyone. I want to kind of give this a framework for everyone, which is when you are faced with this decision around this, what's so, we know this is an important decision. Mm-hmm. I also want to make sure everyone knows that this is not a final decision. This is not final destination, right? We want to do really well in this decision, but if we hold on to it, the way I like to think of it so that we don't get too crazy is, I don't know if you've ever heard this about traveling before, but if you're ever traveling, you're supposed to think you'll come back again one day. So this isn't my only trip to Paris because if you think it's your only trip to Paris, you'll make sure you go to every single tourist thing and you'll be anxious the whole time you're there. But if you say, oh, I'll be back here one day, then your trip is an entirely different experience. So just to have a little bit of ease around this because you might end up on the same decision anyway, but just Mm -hmm. kind of giving you that idea of like, this doesn't have to be the end all be all. I appreciate that because that was part of my, you know, part of our deep dive into who we are. One of the things was sort of this, um, because I've made decisions before in the past, one of the things that came up for me a lot was like that trust, right? Mm -hmm. Of like trusting myself that I am making the right decision. Ah, So this is, this, we're right in the muck of it right now. We are very much in the muck of it. Right. And so, and a tendency that I have is to like ask everybody else around me. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to be very careful with my own opinion today. So that's important for me to know as a coach to really wear wear the coach hat and not the consultant hat. I'm going to, the, the glare out my window is insane. Give me one second. Sure. Okay. I'll just talk with the people. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I hope okay. you're Way better. Today. Much I better. Was, okay. I was just telling people I hope they had a beautiful day. It's not <laughs> weird to just stare at the screen. So, thank you. Good job. Okay. So I got Tony, Ruby, Rocco. Who are these other three? I don't know. Maybe we You don't care, see. do you? It's just more about what... God, why am I so hung up on making the right decision. Yeah. So let's just know talk whatever about decision is, it's going to be the right one. I know that. So what's, so for a second, what's important about this? The decision or the, the what? decision, the, yeah, the decision. Um, to Sarah, not to the world, to Sarah, what's important about this decision? It really, it has to do with trusting my intuition. Okay. And that's something that, you know, if you want to talk about lessons that come up, right? On a, on a, a pretty recurring basis. I would say that, um, that comes up for me a lot. I think I have a really good intuition and mm-hmm. then I think I get talked out of things sometimes, whether by myself or others. And then I always will go back and be like, Sarah, you knew it's that small thing, right? It's yeah. When like, you married I, Peter. Oh, there was like no doubt there. <laughs> yeah, right. That was like, you know, that was just like, 
So I had you, my list. <laughs> yeah. So here's a question for you. Can you give your intuition full permission for a second? Yeah. Just for, for right for this second. We're not going to write this in stone. It's only us chickens watching this right now. We'd have to stick with this. If you gave yeah. your intuition full permission, where do you feel your intuition in your body just today? Maybe like up in my chest. Okay. Can you Maybe that's in? where I feel a block. Is that? Oh, uh, I don't know. Check in. Does it? You know better than me. Yeah. It's like in my chest and my heart. Okay. So really go in there. And if you were to be able to describe what your intuition feels like, like the sensation of it, does it have a shape, a feeling, a color? It's just bright. You know, it's like this bright, bright beautiful light. Beautiful. Can you let it start to just take us up as much space as it wants to? It doesn't have to get bigger unless it wants to. Just breathe into it. And we can all try this at home if you're listening, FYI. So as you least let your intuition give a big permission slip to say what it wants right now, what does it, what comes up? Decisiveness, clarity, mm -hmm. trust. Can you give it those things? Yes, I'm willing right. and open to giving it that, yes. Right, decisiveness, clarity, and trust. So intuition, I'm going to give you my decisiveness, my clarity, and my trust. Give it one more time. I'm going to give my intuition, my decisiveness, my clarity, and my trust. I'm going to believe that what you say is reasonable when I hear it. What was the smile? What did you get? I mean, just that I know all of the answers are within me, you mm -hmm. know? I know that, that that truth exists. And I also know that that thing that stuck with me, right, that idea of not of acting without drama or delay, this is a way of putting drama and delay. Yeah. Because so I think the, yeah. I'm most excited about is – making the decision and then just like moving forward. Right. Like yeah. I don't want, I don't want to be stuck. And also I need to let go of the responsibility I have for hurting other people in this. Yeah. 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 So the, the nose you have to give out. Yeah. 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 That's that'll be fine for me. That'll be fine. You'll be fine. And they'll be fine. Yeah. Cause yeah. we're grown ups. We're big yeah. people. And it happens every day and it's part of the business. And part of what I also think is there's no way that you won't handle this in a way where that door wouldn't be open again if you decided to go back. Yeah. I want you to really think of it that way. I mean, who came I guess, up? I guess Tony, he was coming up from the beginning, you know, it was like kind of always. He's been, the first name you said too. Yeah. Cause he was first on the list. Cause oh, I okay. made my list. I have my paper, my pen, and all my, yeah. you know, all of my materials you've given yeah, me great, out great. with the notes. But yeah, I mean, I guess it's always been him and it's just sort of, yeah, it's just like yeah. letting, letting go of the, the noise, right? And just trusting that you're right. Like this is not, I think because this experience has been so, um, successful mm -hmm. and magical and um, created that space of worthiness in this area of my life in such a huge way. I think if I'm being very honest, yeah, there's please. a part of me that's like, once you make this decision, you're never going to be able to go back. Ah. Right? You can't like do it again. You can't yeah. like open yourself up again like this because they, because they've already seen it. And then maybe they'll sort of reject you. I guess I have to come up with agent signed goals. Once you're signed, <laughs> <laughs> I need to come with the program to how do you work through it once you're signed? <laughs> That's my next course. <laughs> because I kind of feel like, you know, yeah. I mean, I, if, if I, if I'm truly trusting that, every decision you make is leading you into this beautiful story of your life, then no matter if this is the quote unquote right or wrong decision, it's just the best decision for right now. Right. And also what I want you to hear as you talk about this is it's hard to turn down people who've said, I believe in you. So it's not just yeah. a no, it's not just a no. You've had a relationship with these people. Yes. And I think to do this with class and style and the way that you've described this is to make that clear to them. 
yeah. right? To great to be grateful for that. And so my only piece of, uh, I'm going to give you a piece of what I think I would love for you to do for the next 24 hours, mm -hmm. maybe a little longer, mm -hmm. live with the decision without having told anyone about it. Right. So for the like next 24 hours, what if it was just him, Tony's your manager for the next 24 hours. Yeah. And what does that feel like in your body? How does it feel? When do you feel it? just, that's just your decision. You're living on the other side of it so that you can have the experience of the relief of that. Yeah. And just also the, the, the relief and also the release maybe is another word to say from that. And then how does that fit in your body? How does that feel? Well, it feels good to like, just to sort of like put a period on that yeah. part, right? Because yeah. I want, I mean, that part was fun. This, like the whole thing was fun, but really what you want to do is the work. The stuff. Right? You want to do the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And take this into it. Right. And you want to take this into it. So I think there might also be another assignment I'd like to give you. Yeah. Okay. I want you to make the contract with yourself. Okay. That is, and you'll use that. You'll find out the right language for this. Something around what you learned through this process and how you're going to live up to that in the relationship with your manager and in your acting life. Mm -hmm. So what have you learned and what are you saying? I will live up. It's like, a, the reason why I'm calling it a contract with yourself is I will not go back on this thought. I've, this yeah. is a thought that I put, does that make sense to you? It makes total sense. Like one of the biggest things too, that's come up and also that I've realized that's come up in meetings. And I want to kind of remind actors about it is, you know, for a while, because I was trying to take responsibility of where I was at. Right. And, and it was really easy to blame my agent, but what I've also realized is like, Oh yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't holding myself accountable. I wasn't calling my agent and saying, Hey, can I get those tracking reports for the mm. past two months? Can you let me know who is and isn't seeing me so I can like develop those relationships a bit more? Can you do da, 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 Right. Like I was, I wasn't doing my side of that. Yeah. Your side of the like, street wasn't clean with your agent. No, because so, I, I, I thought I was bugging her. You know, I thought I was like, I was bothering her or whatever. And what I realized is that no, like when you get to this place where you truly know what you have to offer is, is valid and, and people want it then you realize, oh, you have to do that part because then, because if you don't do that part, then you're actually, you're not believing in yourself and how in the world is somebody else going to? Right. Yeah. Very true. Because I think if you're not doing that part of it, it's also a place to hide. Yeah. The place to say, I have an agent now. And so now I get to just put my feet up and do whatever. And I wish, I honestly, I do wish the business was like that. I wish that that's, <laughs> I honestly just wish that's the way that worked because I think actors work so hard and I would love for at some point they got to put their feet up and just get to act. So that's like the world I wish we had. If I was an agent, that's what, how I treat my clients. Right. 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 Not right, do anything. right. Right. But since that's not where we're at, I, I so hear what you're saying. So I've, I've taken a lot of your time today, Sarah, but I want to make sure that you feel this was helpful. Tell me oh, if you're yes. I mean, you know, I want to first talk in the agent goals that of course, I don't think if I made it very clear yet, it's incredibly helpful. Um, and this is really helpful, you know, and this is, I feel like it was a really, because of the work I've done already, you know, in my own life. And then also through mm -hmm. this class, I think this was an easy, it was almost like a reminder because I've been doing this with myself. You know, I've been sitting with my eyes closed, thinking about who is that person you're going to mm -hmm. run and hug. You're going to, think, 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 you know, they're going to get flooded with emails because all of a sudden they're like the new hot person in town because of the work you were able to deliver. Oh, I love that. I love that you image. Know? That's so good. Yes. Yeah. It's like, this isn't just about me. And I think that's what, what's been so incredible through this process is like, this is, this truly is about other people, you know, this is about, and you need to, you need to stand tall in the fact that you're giving that to the world. You are, you are offering this to people. And then what we do is we take that energetic love and we send it out. And so it's like this beautiful thing, right? And like, we're all one, right? We're all connected. Yeah. So we're really, you know, you're getting it back too, Thank without you. me even having to say this, right? Because yeah. that it affects the world, right? And mm -hmm. like, that's the world I envision and I live in and I want to see more of, you know, and I want mm -hmm. my daughter to live in and, and that's, and that's truly possible. Like it is possible to believe in yourself enough to then know that it's so true and then, and, and feel it like, just know it is such a truth that you can then have other people see it. Mm. And then it's just like this fun ride and wave of like your purpose, truly like you're calling, like coming into fruition in a manifested physical way i.e. a manager, an agent, right. and then getting to go and do the work, you know, yeah. love yeah. the world with your work. So oh, 
Sarah, I love the way you said that and love the world you work. And also, you know, as you said that, I just reminded, I just became aware of myself. Yes, every single actor who goes through aging goals better get out there and do their work because I'm doing this so that they'll do that. And so this is, that's why I'm doing it, right? So yeah. like, that just really reminded me of that. So I appreciate you giving me that reminder, even in this moment of like, that's the, that's the world I'm looking for, right? Yeah, it's if like, this is the yeah. short term, right? And yeah. then the long term is like, we change the world. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And actually all the people who received your email, their world was changed a little on that day. If we really take this down into the pieces. So I truly feel like that, Brian, I think, and like, if you're listening, I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but it's very true. This is not, this is not some like this toy. Is, it's not a toy. I, the, no. If you treat this like a toy, it'll have the behavior of a toy in your life. This is not a toy. We were talking about and also, truth with the capital about, T. It's, it is about outcome, but it's not. Like I had a very good friend of mine even say to me, do this in order to grow through the work that you're going to do. Not necessarily because you're going to automatically get representation at the end. And I remember when she first said that, I was like, well, Screw why you. would I be spending all this <laughs> money to do this? Like I could spend this money on a lot of other things, you know, Mama oh, like- would love a facial that costs <laughs> a lot of money. But like when you do, when you actually do it and then you, st- then those things slowly start to dissolve. If you're do, if you're truly diving in, then when you come out the other side, you're like, oh yeah, like this is the byproduct, the manager, the interest, the agents. It's actually, it wasn't the goal all along. It's you the know my secret. You yeah. know my secret. <laughs> yeah. Cause if you do, if you do it right, that's it. Right. It's not the byproduct. And, it, and then it's like, your heart is just so open. Yeah. And whoever could say, just be a really great person and you'll get a manager. Like that would never work. <laughs> That's not going to be the work. No. <laughs> so, I mean, look, it is hard work. Don't get me wrong. Do yeah. not do this course unless you want to. <laughs> I saw your yeah. face. What? But no, no, you, I agree with you. Don't do it unless you want to truly do the work because you can do it and kind of half-ass it, but it's not going to be. It won't work. Way. No, I think no. if you half-ass it, doesn't, and actually what I think is, like signing up is not a guarantee of anything. You have no. to fully implement this. In I, I fully admit that one of the exercises that I ask people to do inside the program is the one that I'm most likely to skip because I'm like, I've done enough personal work on myself. I don't need to do that. And then that's why I would like, oh, I have to go back to the beginning and do this again, right? Yeah, um, I mean, but that's the thing, right? Like if you don't want to do those things and you truly don't want to grow as a human and you're truly not looking for that 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 soulmate relationship that's gonna con- that's gonna challenge you, you know, this is going to challenge you, but it'll stretch you and grow you. Then just don't do it. Do something no, else. Do something but else. That, Truly. Cause I don't want to have a dissatisfied actor inside of the no. program. Go so, yeah. Do something else. No, but if you're yeah. ready for a radical shift, um, in, uh, like in your thinking, not only towards yourself, but toward to the possibilities of what's, what's possible in this business. Um, if you're ready to truly see this in, like this infinite possibility open up within the world around you within this business that can sometimes feel a little bit like this closed box and so icky, then do it. Thank you, Sarah. Oh my gosh. That's so sweet of you. I'm so grateful. I took so much of your time today. Really grateful for you for being here for like a whole hour. My gosh. Um, I mean, I could keep talking. I'm having like the best time. (laughs) Welcome to the Sarah show. Um, (laughs) is there, uh, I feel like you've said everything that needs to be said. I just want to just tell you how grateful I am for you for saying yes, both saying yes to taking the course. I said, I shared with you in the beginning, like it's something very personal. It's something, for, there's a particular joy in having a friend take your course because I feel a little more seen. And so for me, it was a very curious experience to have you inside of the course because I was like excited, but also I was like, oh, and Sarah's going to see me do my thing now, right? Which is like <laughs> such a weird feeling yeah. at this, right? Yeah. And so I just really am so grateful that both you signed up for the course and that you went in, like you said, open-hearted, open mind, and said full beginner's mind, I'm going all the way in. And obviously it, it gave you some great results. So um I'm so grateful for you for today. Thank you for I everything. love you. I'm so uh, grateful for you. And I'm so grateful for all of you watching. I know that sounds weird, but like, I'm grateful for the journey you're going to go on and the, the ability that you're going to have when you open yourself up to making the world a better place because we're all responsible. No one else can carry this for us. No president, mm-hmm. no nothing. Like we are the carriers of love into the world. We are the ones who will change the world. Yes. And you have to... Um, open yourself up to possibilities in order for that to ever happen. 
So have no, fun. I'm also, you. I'm open. If you need to message me, if you're in the program, do you want to tell them how to find you? Yeah. So you can find me on Instagram at what Sarah saw S-A-R-A at what Sarah saw. Yeah. Saw. Yeah. And then on Facebook, I think I'm just Sarah Erickson. I think Instagram is better. Cause I don't know if you want people friending you. That will be bizarre because they don't know you yet, but maybe it's okay. Maybe you're friends with everyone in the universe. We're all connected, right? You're already me. I'm you. And if you are listening and you have not signed up for make agents want you, that is the webinar where I teach the framework. I introduce you to the framework. That's part of agent goals. Uh, first day is Thursday and then Saturday and Monday's the last one. There are no replays. It's taught totally live. And I cannot wait to see you there. Thank you so much, Sarah. I'm so grateful. I love you. Bye everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be well. Take care. Bye. Bye.